Welcome back to uh, k &L Farms and uh, here in a minute we'll go over communication and remember when I'm speaking about communication because it's going to be a little bit confrontational is uh, this is how I do it. don't have a lot of experience around it. This is just what I've found that works for me. And we're going to go over a lot of items, a lot of different type of communication items on the table and I'll show you. So let's start out with if you're in a major metropolitan area and you're going to relocate, hopefully relocate to a homestead somewhere, and, uh, and you think right now your best friend is a smartphone, and uh, if you haven't heard about uh, Hawaii, the fire in Hawaii, uh, cell phone service went down immediately and didn't return, I don't know if it has yet, but for uh, at least three days, cell phone didn't work. So this cell phone uh, that I, I have, on my farm that I have is uh, if you're not directly in the house the cell phone doesn't work you know you can't commute and if well if I commute from here to town I have no cell service including town so if you move out of the major metropolitan area you move to a county or to a homestead type situation this is not a line of communication either on grid or off grid so this cell phone has a great purpose for me book Got a book, don't want to lose my place, perfect place to put the cell phone. Holds my place in the, in the book. So, we've ruled out cell phones. One of the items on the table is a small little handheld radio that my grandkids use if they're with me and uh, they can commute back and forth and talk to me a little bit. I can keep track of them. Uh, so, it's about the same thing as a cell phone. Goes, holds my place in the book. Okay, so we've got past that. We know that cell phones are virtually useless, and since I'm a boomer, and I spent most of my life, didn't need that leash over my neck, uh, I, could, I could go and commute and drive and do all my stuff without the leash. And if you haven't concluded yet, I don't really like cell phones. Okay, so I've got it kind of set up on the table from the most expensive to the least expensive, and uh, and then I'm going to clarify a little bit of uh, what I've been seeing or what I have seen. The, this, this radio is not mine. It's issued to me. This radio is for EMS purposes only. And it's on the main frequencies. So that doesn't serve my purpose. At the end of the video, I'll explain why I concluded which radio I did and why I use this. But this is going to come into play. Uh, radio on, that goes on the county repeater and then uh, it's only used, supposed to be used for EMS purposes, emergency services, that type of deal. I don't know that you wouldn't uh, warrant getting a radio like this to be able to monitor emergency situations once we get into a grid down, or if we get into a grid down situation, but this radio is only used uh, when we're, I'm in an EMS type situation. Now, the debate comes in Okay, well, I'll get this radio. This radio virtually does the same thing as this radio does. This is my personal radio. But this radio, or any radio you see that says that there's a license required, does not serve my, my purpose. It basically the same, uh, a personal owned EMS radio. This is not to call your wife to ask her what's for lunch or when lunch break is. I see people utilizing this device and I don't think it's appropriate. I think this was made, or anything that goes on the county repeater was made for communication for emergency situations, not for uh, would you like ice cream from the store or not. So, rule these two out, utilize these two, they have their purposes, but I don't use them for main communication around the, the homestead. Now oh, this is a, a Garmin Rhino fairly expensive. I'm not promoting that you buy any product on the table. I'm not sponsored by anybody. But the nice thing about this is it's got a GPS unit in it and it can track where the other rhinos are. Unless you have one of these in the house and you want someone in the house to be able to locate you, then this does not serve my purpose either. And it's fairly expensive. Okay, so now we're down to just basically uh, radios, uh, they're basically a CB radio is what they are, 
and on these radios, no license necessary, you can get them anyway. This one came off on Amazon, uh, not affiliated, but came off on Amazon. This one actually, I think, came from Walmart. Uh, for me, they're good to about two miles, and that's more than encompasses my property that I'm on. And if I leave the property, I call the house and tell the wife, I'm leaving, I'm going to town, be back in 45 minutes, an hour, whatever the case may be. And if I'm not back, then they start looking for me. But the nice thing about these, if I'm down the hill and the wife wants to know what's for lunch or what's for dinner, or can you go to the store and buy, it's legal to communicate on these CB radios and have that type of conversation. The problem with these radios and the benefit of these is they get uh, cluttered up. So if you find a channel you like and you can, these are channels, these are primarily frequencies. This is a channel, that's a citizen band also. You can communicate back and forth legally. Anything that's got it, when you, when you buy it and you unbox it, if it says there's a license required, uh, you may get in an issue and it's not designed for the purpose that I use these radios for. And I, they're cheaper and I just have a, quite a few of them, two different, these are two different models, same brand. The, the thing with this one, now not so much this one, but this one, if you start jumping on this type of deal and you're, th this one is actually on the emergency uh, channels and it's emergency frequencies and it's off the repeater. So say I, I program that, which you can do, I program that to listen to the CB radio and I'm on there. Sooner or later, somebody in my county is going to come find me because I'm walking on a law enforcement or I'm walking on uh, a fire truck or I'm walking on a, uh, an ambulance services and they get pretty <laughs> interested when people start walking on, on uh, each other on those. And, uh, and so you don't, I don't promote that you use anything like the, these two. Now you can take this one and you could change the frequency. Right now it's on emergency service frequency. Change the frequencies and you could pick up these, these radios. But remember, you're still pushing out and people that are monitoring this, this radio, the ham operators included, they don't like you just on there just finding out what the weather is for today. It's actually for this CB was made, or I'm sorry, ham radio was made for emergency uh, situations, for grid down type situations. So these are the this these are the products I actually use with just a CB handheld radio. They have enough distance, and there's no law infractment with me using them. And I would promote not you don't have to buy these brands. Promote utilizing these in lieu of of these other ones. Now, this one's got a better range. This Garmin Rhino's got a better range. It's probably, <clears throat> oh, maybe four times more expensive than this. And you're going to be on a budget, and like me. And so I wouldn't promote using this unless you have a need for it. If, you, if you're a backpacker or you're getting off the homestead. But this, in fact, this, uh, this program was around what I utilize on the homestead. And I just use these little radios. And uh, thank you, and have a good day.